In this video, you will learn what mixins are and how to use multiple inheritance to create mixins in Python. To explain mixins, I'm going to take you on a journey from inheritance through multiple inheritance to mixins. Let's start with inheritance. We have class A, and class A has a variable called total. We create class B that will inherit from class A. Class B will have everything that class A has, including this total property. Class B will also implement a print function that prints the total. This is regular inheritance. Let's have a look at multiple inheritance. Class A has the total property and class B has some other things. We create class AB that for some reason inherits from class A and B. It combines the functionality of class A and class B in class AB. Class AB will implement our print total function. This is multiple inheritance. We're going to have a look at another scenario. We found some framework or library online and we're going to use it. This framework has a superclass A which has our total property. And the framework inherits class B and C from A. So B and C also have this total property. Now we cannot change this code, or we don't want to change the code. This is all regular inheritance. Now if we want to change the functionality from B and C, we are going to inherit from B and C into class D and E. Now how would we print the value of total in class D and E? In order to do this, we need to implement print total in class D and we need to implement print total in class E. And this of course leads to duplicate code. And this is where mixins can help us. Let's recreate the scenario. We know that the print total function was duplicate code. We're going to introduce a new class M which will implement our print total. In a type language like C sharp, you would of course have to inherit this class M from either class A or class A and M need to inherit some common interface. Since there is no type police in Python, we don't need to do that. We can just assume that there is a total property when we combine class M with class D and E. And the way we do this is to create new classes D and E where D inherits from B and E inherits from C, but D and E both also inherit from M. Classes D and E, although they are different, both now have access to the total property and to the print total function. Enough talking, let's code this up. We start by creating our class A. This is the class that had the total variable and we'll just give it an arbitrary value. Then we introduce class B which inherits from A and I'm just going to pass here. We create another class C which also inherits from A and we will also pass. These three classes are the framework code and they are locked for us. Then we introduce our code. We start with the mixin. We call this class M. And it has a function called print total. And the print total function, well, you have guessed it, it will print the total. Notice how this mixin class does not make sense on its own. With multiple inheritance, you combine 
functionality from multiple classes that are entities on their own. But this mix-in class needs to be combined with another class in order to make sense. We create another class, D, which inherits from B and from M. And we are going to pass here and we need to create a last class, class E, which inherits from C and our mix in M. And I'm also going to pass here. Okay, this is our class structure. Now let's test this by creating a class instance from E. At this moment, I can call print total, which comes from our mix in, but uses our total from class A. So let me execute this code. And here is our total. You have learned how to use a mixin to add functionality to existing code. And you've seen how to implement it in Python.